Hello guys and welcome to another video. So Mark Oshiro and Rick Riordan just released the cover for The Sun and the Star and Nico D'Angelo Adventure. For those of you who do not know, that is the official title for the up and coming Solange look, aka the Solangelo book as the hashtag is on Twitter. So without further ado, let's check out this new cover. Yes, I am wearing my Kevin 13 cap for this. Let's go. Okay, this cover <laughs> is so pretty, but it also, okay, it also kind of looks like a meme, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Right from the get-go, this cover is giving the King Chronicles because of the colors, like all the browns, the yellows, and the blacks, very, very King Chronicles. And also the title and how it's placed on the cover, it's really reminding me of those old style King Chronicles covers. So it just says, from the world of Percy Jackson, the sun and the star, a Nico D'Angelo adventure. And then we see Nico and Will, they are clearly in the underworld. This might be either the doors of death or the entrance to a palace in the underworld. I'm not sure if they're in Tartarus already or if they're just in the underworld, but that's all we can see. I don't think there's anything else that you can tell from the background. There's definitely like a huge door with a staircase. So I'm leaning towards the doors of death, but I don't know because I don't think that's what they looked like. In House of Hades, the doors of death were some huge doors, like elevator doors, and then they were chained like on each side to the ground to like bolt it on the ground. But this looks like Greek architecture and it also has stairs leading up to it. So it makes me think that it's not the doors of death, but it's some kind of palace. I don't know if this is Hades' palace. I don't think so. Maybe we're going to meet some other deity, deity that is going to be super important. In the front of the cover, we clearly see Nico and Will. It looks like they're holding hands. Nico is wearing his aviator jacket, which we've seen him wear on several locations. It doesn't look like you can see his skull ring on his fingers, but it might be on the other hand. He's looking very pale and he's pointing towards the doors or the palace entrance or the stairs, whatever it is. And then on the other hand, we have Will, who is wearing probably the top of some scrubs, you know, so you can tell he's still a medic. And that's all our boy Will is sporting. I guess it doesn't get very cold in Tartarus because this guy didn't even pack a jacket. And I think the biggest detail of all is that Nico is pointing at that entrance, those doors, that palace, whatever it is, and <laughs> it kind of looks like he's shouting in Will's face. He's like, whatever is in there, it's very important and we have to get it. And clearly Nico is the one who looks the most in distress and then Will is there as like, his support. There's a huge Mandela effect around this quote. Everyone, myself included, thought it was tell the stars hello because then it's Bob says hello to the stars. But it's actually the sun and the stars. So everyone thinks the sun, obviously Apollo means um, Will. And then the star would be Nico in this analogy. So Nico D'Angelo being a star, it might be in terms of being like a guiding star, like the Northern Star or something like that, or the stars being the night equivalent to the sun, even though, yes, obviously the sun is a star. Okay, the sun is also a star. Yeah, I know. But the sun is during the day for us, and then the stars are at night. So maybe that kind of duality, we don't know. Okay, so here's what the vlog says. Here's a quick summary. Spoilers if you have not read Through Trials of Apollo. As the son of Hades, Nico D'Angelo has been through so much, from the premature deaths of his mother and sister, to being outed against his will, will, to losing his friend Jason during the trials of Apollo. But there is a ray of sunshine in his life, literally, his boyfriend, Will Solace, the son of Apollo. Together the two demigods can overcome any obstacle or foe, at least that's been the case so far. Foreboding. Now Nico is being plagued by a voice calling out to him from Tartarus, the lowest part of the underworld. He thinks he knows who it is, a reformed titan named Bob whom Percy and Annabeth had to leave behind when they escaped Hades' realm. Nico's dreams and Rachel Dare's latest prophecy 
leave little doubt in Nico's mind that Bob is in some kind of trouble. Nico has to go on this quest, whether Mr. D and Chiron like it or not, they probably will not like it. I'm excited. And of course, we'll insist on coming with, of course he does, of course. Ah. But kind of being made of light, surviving the darkest part of the world, I he better. And what does the prophecy mean that Nico will have to leave something of equal value behind? I hate those kinds of prophecies. Ugh. Nico will have to face demons both internal and external as his relationship with Will is tested to the core in this standalone adventure featuring two of the most popular characters in the Percy Jackson saga. They got that part right. When does the book came out? Oh my god! Ah! It has a release date! The on-sale date for the North American and the United Kingdom is May 2nd, 2023. Ah! May, May isn't summer, so they... They pushed it up! Oh. As always, release date for other countries may vary depending on how long it takes to translate blah 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 blah. <gasps> May 2nd! Yes, yes, yes. Will you be doing a tour? Mark and I are planning to do a limited North America tour together. Boo! Boo! What about the rest of the world? Tell us about the title. I have to credit Mark with the title. They have a lot more poetry in their soul than I do. It is not a title I would have come up with by myself. I thought so. It does not scream required into me. How did you co-write the book? As I've shared before, it was really important to me that writing a book entirely from the perspective of two queer characters, I collaborated with a great queer author who could bring perspective, authenticity, and a different set of writing strengths to the project. Mark Arshiro is someone whose writing I greatly admired and who also knows the Percy Jackson world immediately, intimately. They were the perfect choice. It was equally important to me that this was a true 50-50 collaboration in every sense. Credit, compensation, workload, creative input. I started with a rough outline of the book. Mark elaborated on this outline, making a lot of good additions and revisions. We sent notes back and forth several times. Then Mark did the first draft of the manuscript. They sent it to our editor, Stephanie Lurie, who made her own suggestions and then sent it to me. I then did an extensive second draft the same way I would for one of my own first drafts. Again, the manuscript went back and forth several times and the process was marvelous. I learned a lot. Mark showed me a lot of wonderful new perspectives on writing and brought a fresh sensibility to the characters of Nico and Will. I found the collaboration rewarding and delightful. I think it's safe to say that the final product is an equal balance of my style and Mark's style. I can't wait for you all to read it. And in the meantime, you haven't checked out Mark's homework. What are you waiting for? Will anything bad happen to our favorite characters? They're going to Tartarus, what could possibly go wrong? But seriously, I know your concerns. I can't give away the plot of the book, obviously, but I can assure you that Mark feels just as strongly about these characters as I do. I am quite fond of them myself. It's been years, so I would hope so. What will happen exactly, I can't say, but I would point out that fan worries are almost always overblown. Hmm. People have been spreading rumors that Percy Jackson was going to die since 2005 and he's still alive and kicking at the ripe old age of, yep, still 17. Oh, that poor dude. Past that, you'll have to wait and read the book. So they're gonna survive, they're gonna suffer, but they're gonna survive. And that's what's important. As long as they come out alive, hopefully still dating and, you know, mentally still sane, I'm good with that outcome. So that is all we know about this book so far, and that's kind of a lot. We know what it's about, we know it's coming out May 2nd, at least United States and United Kingdom, and we have this beautiful cover and the title, The Sun and the Star, and Nico D'Angelo Adventure. I am so excited. And the fact that we have under eight months for this book to come out, it's very exciting, it's very exciting. Uh, Please leave a like if you like this video, comment down below if you like the title and if you like the cover and if you think they're very different from anything we've seen from Rick Riordan so far. Please subscribe if you haven't already, click that bell button so you get notifications every time I post a new video. I post videos just like this every single Friday and I will always keep you updated on Rick Riordan related news. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!